doing a ceiling of an agave surfboard with epoxy again and all what we need is a squeegee to spread epoxy and the brush so and some nice bioresin so first of all <clears throat> i float the finplex that the air can exit already bubbles can suck and float away the grain can suck up the epoxy pretty well and have time it's also good that the fin plug is glued really well and it's also really hard after this so <clears throat> this plug will never break out <laughs> it's nice so after that Spread the epoxy all over the board. I really tried to push it into the grain, into the pipes of the grain. Okay. Next step, work with the brush around the rail. the other parts of the board <clears throat> here on the rail I also want to have the epoxy really pushed in so I going over it a lot of times and push it really into the grain Try to work it all off, not too much, not, no epoxy, no this, not any dripping epoxy around here. So the agave, uh, the epoxy sealing on the agave core is a really hard connection for the fiber. A hard and heavy sealing, but a really strong sealing. So. It's also just the same material as we use in the lamination. So it will be, have no problem with connecting to each other. Okay, so next step, put in the fin blacks. Best case, just the epoxy came out, no bubbles. Like that, would be perfect. First one, second one. Perfect. 
So here should be not laying too much epoxy in. Just these little holes, they should be filled pretty well without bubbles. <clears throat> Here without fiber, the bubbles can, can exit pretty well. So, get the last zip, the, la the last zip of the epoxy on the board. All what we have, so that was pretty, pretty the right amount, nailed it pretty well. <coughs> so now, because this is the bottom part, we don't have too much pressure with the foot on, so we try to squeeze all the epoxy out of the bottom deck again, like all the external epoxy which is lying on top. This is what we don't need, this is what it makes heavy and we have to send it off again. So on the bottom part, we really put all the external epoxy away, like this little way, if you can see here. We collect it and push it away. So here the same, get fast on the rails because we don't wanna have that dripping here. We can collect the epoxy like this with a squeegee pretty well. No dripping epoxy, nothing to sand. So here the same external epoxy. Same to the back here. So we have no shiny parts. Normally you would suck all the epoxy which is laying on there now away. So you can look from the side if there are any shiny part or little epoxy lake, just get it away. We don't want too much. Here on the rail, we can also push the epoxy in again with the with the squeegee. Just go over that sometimes. Nice that all the epoxy is in the grain. You also go over it with a heat gun to heat it up a bit and let it sink more into the into the wood. That we have a deep impregnation and a good ceiling. Looks good, feels good, not too much. Here's some dry parts. Also don't have dry parts on it. You also don't want that. Not too much, not too less. Just the right amount is perfect. On the board like that with 511, we use 150 grams epoxy for the ceiling. Boom, nice, perfect. So bottom part is nice, perfect, sealed up, light as well. We can go over the rail one time again with the brush. If there are any kind of epoxy noses or leftovers, we have to collect and push in the grain. Now the fast epoxy also get a bit sticky. What we're doing as the next step, we plug the, the heat gun on or in. Because we want to have the epoxy sinking much more into the rail. 
So we heat it up on this side. Same here. So we'll, we'll float in the epoxy again a bit more. We can also go over deck. If there are any kind of bubbles, it will just let the epoxy sink much better in. Also from the other side. So now we go over the rail one last time to spread the floaty epoxy again and push it into the grain. When we do the top, we don't need to seal the rail again, so we do it in one step. Uh, bottom or top part because otherwise it gets too much epoxy and we have shiny parts in it and we don't want it because the fiber should be laying on the wood straight without too much epoxy in between it's just uh, that the epoxy have some time to sink into the grain and not suck the epoxy out of the lamination so we want to have the epoxy still in the lamination and also in the wood. So this is why we do the sealing as well in one step. So we do it always with the fin plug. After we finished, we put the fin plugs on the same level that the epoxy doesn't float in the side. Just go like that. Right now, the epoxy is empty. I just Fill the last parts off, but yeah, it's better that some of these holes here doesn't have too much epoxy as it just swim in there because we need to sand it again to have not a shiny epoxy. So here everything is floated, no connection to the bottom part of the plug, but still a good, nice, sandy area for a good connection. Not too much epoxy. All the external epoxy you try to push into these holes here and not laying on the fin plug. This is how the fin plug will connect much better with the, with the fiber later. Nice. Perfect. No bubbles because they can just go away easily. Awesome. Now if you see some shiny parts again, try to remove all these shiny parts as good as you can. It should be really looking matte. So the wood sucked off the epoxy pretty well. And then it's done. Nice, so that's the epoxy sealing of an agave board. We will have a hydrophobic sealer as well, or and a PU sealing, and we will have some other videos for that as well. So enjoy this, shaping some agave wooden cores, and have fun. Sweet.